Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW, and I'm still feeling under the weather. I hope I do get better soon. Um, but I managed to throw in a couple of games of Arena last night, um, both with Chain and Bod Bootneck on livestream. And uh, then I threw one in after I said I was going to go to bed. But it turned out to be a very good one. But I've called it Herding Sheep, because literally I was barking orders all the way through this one to keep the team under control. You'll see that we are very much the underdogs on this, along with red team, because pink and orange have got full divisions out there. So it knocks the confidence a little bit because you know that they are going to be communicating. And all those guys on Alpha Team, I actually know one of them. And I'm now friends with another one of them because I did give them a GG for this one because it was a slow burner, but very hard fought. Now, I did speak up on comms and uh, one of the team was listening. I was a little bit worried at the start. It's that guy there, PR camper something, because he either sounded very tired, a little bit drunk or a little bit stoned. Now, I don't, um, you know, condone certain things in life. People make their life choices and it is up to them what they do. So if he was a little bit drunk or a little bit stoned, hey, we still played for a pretty solid game and he said at the start i am going to follow you um there's a song on that in joseph's multi technicolor dream court isn't it i will follow you isn't it that one um but there we go <laughs> excuse my singing so i decided that i'm going to push in and straight away we've got a rudder shift boost but we have reload boosters pop up and I say, okay, look, I'm going to head for this next reload booster. Um, but the closest target is off there to my left-hand side. So there's a chance that we may very well get squeezed here. So I'm pushing out for this reload booster. We get the Fuso, Mackinson and Fubuki spotted. So they are pretty much a set of underdogs like we are. They're already coming under fire, which must be either from um, one team or the other. That isn't us. But I say to uh, my team, engage, engage those guys. They are piggy in the middle. If you can, snipe the kills. Wait for that, you know, wait for that perfect shot take the kill because kills count in this game and after having picked up this reload booster we are spotted from behind and so i tell them now that i'm doing a 180 and i'm going to head back towards that team behind us because i want to try and take care of the destroyer that is with that team it is the two war spites and a fabuki they are a full division and um, yeah, we are in a sticky place at the moment. So my two friends in the battleships, the, the other guy in um, the other battleship is, is French. And um, so I will say bonjour, mes amis, um, because he did play very well. I don't know if he was listening in on communications, but he did very much play a team game as well. So we see torpedoes coming past us. My closest target is off to the right. It is not the war spite, so the Fubuki is leading the charge. I'm going to put my torpedoes out towards both of those war spites. My concern is the Fubuki is pushing into the cap quickly, and these war spites are going to keep the pressure on us while the Fubuki pushes in. Things are getting a little bit sticky, but Red Team have lost two ships. I am now playing the block on the two war spites. My torpedoes are running, but each of them are turning. I don't know exactly where this Fubuki is, but I'm not located. So there are targets closer to him. I'm looking for the cap and realizing how quick it's turning and thinking that these two war spites are going to make a dash for it. We need to get in and contest, but we also need to turn these guys around and stop them from running in. 
I'm hoping that one of the other teams is going to contest. I'm telling my other two guys to keep the pressure on. And uh, I put the trigger a little bit too soon there. And I dropped my smoke. One of the things here is that I don't play the Monaghan very often. And so um, I don't realize how quickly the smoke screen deploys and then stops. But I reverse out of it. And this is my trousers down bare cheeks to the wind moment where I've got two war spites looking straight at me. So I am going to get the hell out of dodge. I cease fire. I run into the smoke and I'm going to get out of this smoke and away from it because I imagine both their next volleys are going to be blind fired straight into that smoke screen. I don't want to be there when those shells arrive. So we're kiting away, we're going to push back and support our battleships and see what we can do to support them. The cap is now contested, two war spites are running down my smoke screen and I'm looking, I'm expecting them to potentially turn into that capture point knowing that their buddy in the Fabuki is already in there. But they stay, oh, they, they stay, they start taking fire from the top of the cap and that can only be pink team so red team have completely gone orange team are behind us uh, is it orange gone and red those two colors are so similar they're red orange have gone um we'll we'll stick with those colors for now pink team very obviously started up near the top of the cap but we go fishing with torpedoes and we bag ourselves a Fabuki. He must have been coming out of the cap back towards the war spites to continue pushing us. But he sailed straight in to my torpedoes. I'm over the moon with that. That is one less thing to worry about for me. But the war spites are getting shots on my guys. They're still a little way outside of the cap. With the war spites turning in and taking fire from the top end of the map, it is time for action. They have turned in. They've lost a Fabuki. One of their ships is nearly dead. Pink team still have three ships. They're all on the north end of the cap. I decide that I need to push in and contest because I don't think these war spites are going to make it. I need to get a cap reset. Pink are playing smart. Their destroyer is in the cap. Their battleships are outside of it. So they're not going to get reset on points. But I'm slow here because we get the pink destroyer spotted. He's on the cap. And this guy did play a pretty solid game in playing this cap very well. So I know that I need to get shots on. And in our messages after the game, he's saying, you know, the eagle... The guns, they're absolutely trolley. The dispersion is awful. And I think the same can be said for the Monaghan. But I get enough of a blessing of RNG to land just a couple of shots on him to keep that cap reset. He's going to pull an absolute beauty. Because he kills one war spite and then very quickly he kills the other war spite. That is that double strike for him. Absolutely amazing shot. That'll teach those two battleships to come sailing in together side by side. But those cap resets have given me the opportunity to push round and spot the pink team. I've told my guys to push to that gap towards the centre. The war spites aren't a risk anymore. They need to be in a position. Pink team. Now, no, they are on for a win. There is still 6 minutes and 45 seconds to play in this game. My torpedoes are running towards the Arizona. They know if they can get three ships in with all the health they've got left, that they have got this game in the bag. They are going to push in. They're going to support each other. They're going to support their destroyer. They obviously think that I am coming in the front door when I'm not. I'm coming in the back door. We managed to land one, two, three torpedoes, two floods, Arizona and the Huger have both damage controlled, but I am behind them and I am going to give them something to think about. This is 
an absolutely superb flank and move they've got two battleships to their front they are broadside to the Hugo is going to turn and get a salvo on me they know that i'm behind them now their destroyer knows that i'm a risk there's a fire on the Hugo. will to rebuild is going to be perhaps a deciding factor for pink team in this battle and just watch some of these salvos off these guns because this dispersion is shocking literally shells seem to go through past anywhere but on this arizona or they're just landing and doing nothing at all and i'm thinking what the hell there's a reason i don't play this ship very often there we go salvo goes straight through those salvos go past and i'm aiming at the ship rng was absolutely screwed there it is still three plays three the huger is backing up he's got double fires on him as i look for my torpedoes to launch and i back out of my smoke but lo and behold there is pink team's destroyer we're both going to get shafted with various salvos we're both expecting torpedoes i put mine towards the cap and i'm going to stay on guns we pick up a confederate badge showing how much hard work we've done in this one and where either of those battleships could put a full salvo on me i'm just hoping telling my guys to push 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 the arizona disappears this is going to be down to who gets the reload first bang he's gone and with the last salvo the Hugo gets taken out before the torpedoes reach me and save my skin that was a tough tough game to play having to literally think in 360 degrees of warfare 113 and a half thousand damage two kills we pick up a dev strike the lucky one and a confederate 3700 base xp we take five kills out of the nine available and um those guys on alpha team there in the pink they pick up the other four so ggs to bacon breakers to d gamers and toto is a toto giant for playing a very solid round of arena i really do hope you've liked this one it got a little bit exciting there towards the end if you've enjoyed that one please do stick around smash the like button hit the subscribe button and click one of these links and watch another video while you're here until next time take care and goodbye